Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Oh, see, I'm so tall with this camera. My hair's out short again. Uh, well, so today we're talking about the DVD. No, not DVDs at all. The Blu-rays. Are the Steelbooks worth it? This is my opinion. Um, and if my opinion is quite uh, short, my opinion is that uh, I don't think, I think... They are and they aren't all at the same time. I own two of them because they're Amazon exclusives. And uh, I want them normally on DVD as well because I prefer the DVDs to the Blu-rays. But with the Blu-rays, such as the 50th anniversary Blu-ray, even though I've got the 50th anniversary about three different times. So, three times on DVD. Uh, no, I think I've got it three DVD versions and digital version. But with it, I want I wanted the uh, Blu-ray still, but sadly when it came out, I can get it on it for the fact that I could went to BBC Proms and the Doctor Who Prom, and that was the thing I really wanted to rewatch. Now, according to fans, it was available on DVD, but I've not found it available on DVD anywhere. So. It's only available on these on the steel books. Now the other uh, positive about the steel books is that they look quite nice, They're like nice design, nice pattern. And Anna Martin, who's a fantastic YouTuber who I interviewed on this channel for uh, Doctor Who Discussion, my um, Doctor Who podcast. And if you go to the link in the description, you might find the audio version of the episode, and you might find it in a playlist on this channel. Now he has a series called AMTV, where he, it's like, it's his podcast, but it's where he talks to different people about anything. And we spoke to this woman, and I can't remember her name, so I, re I do apologise. And she created the Doctor Who Steel books. And what's really cool is that the design of the railway is amazing. The, I've got series t uh, 12 and 11. Uh, still books which you want on DVD as well. The still books are gorgeous, and when you look at them on Amazon, they they look gorgeous. So, so to conclude, are the still books worth it? Depends. It's up to you. It's up to the customer. I think personally, I'm on the fence. I want them to take away the BBC problems and to get the nice artwork, and on the other side, I prefer the DVDs. But if I can have both, I'll be happy. With that, so what's your thoughts on the matter? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Time more tired. Bye! A review of episode 1 of series 8 Behind the Sofa will be coming very soon. Bye! Because I'm going to do that.